follow me on Instagram and Twitter, you've actually known for a couple of weeks. I have been filming videos ahead, so like you've seen me as a blonde for like two weeks longer than I've actually been a blonde. Some of you guys are probably wondering what the heck, why didn't you go back to dark? You made Nikki Goes Blonde, like a 32 part series. First off, my hair was getting thrashed. It's been thrashed kind of through the whole process. And I was kind of just like, over that and be the bigger reason as lame as this sounds you are totally gonna understand if you make videos i like to saturate my videos and saturating my videos became very hard as a blonde because i felt like i spent the last two years turning my hair orange or yellow or green or purple and just for like my editing taste i just wasn't feeling it anymore dan was like dude all I've heard you say is that it annoys you when you're editing. So just do it. Just go in, just do it. I was like, really? Am I really gonna go back? Like, not just brown, but like dark brown? And he was like, dude, go away. So um, I did it, yay. That being said, I think today's video is super appropriate for my first video back as a brunette. It's a beachy, easy hairstyle that not only I think is like perfect for the beach, but also just for like any summer events, summer parties you have going on. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Click right here to subscribe to my channel it would make my day. I feel like that's always my tagline. It would make my day. But seriously, also just so you guys know, this video is a part of the All Things Hair channel where I upload hair videos and also some of my other YouTube friends upload hair tutorials over there as well. And we'll have that linked in the info box. Let's jump in. Play us. All right, so I'm starting off by sectioning off my hair because I'm going to add some wave to my hair. So I'm taking just a few pieces, kind of like here and there, and wrapping them around my iron front, backwards, lots of different directions until my hair overall is just pretty wavy. So then I'm gonna take my Dove Dry Shampoo, and this is gonna help add volume to your hair because it's gonna suck up the oil and the dirt and just make your hair nice and full. Dude, this stuff literally smells amazing. Can I just throw it out there? It smells so good. All right, so once I have the wave and the curl and the craziness in my hair, I'm gonna take the front section of my hair and I'm just gonna pull it back and I'm gonna pin it in a little pompadour. Um, Shane and I were talking about this, about how like this is really gonna help you not look like your head is flat when you have a headband on. This will keep volume to it. So I'm gonna take that, push it forward, and then do two pins, one across and then one the other direction. And then I'm gonna take my headband. Ooh, finding a headband that was large enough for my big head was a very difficult side note. And I'm gonna put this on and put it right behind the bump. And I'm just gonna pull it over the side just because I like the look. And then we're gonna take the rest of your hair and I'm going to pull it up like this. Kind of let it have its own messy vibe. And I'm gonna pull it into a ponytail at the top, like this. And then I'm gonna pull it through and I've kind of done this look before where the, the bun kind of stops being pulled through. What you're gonna do is you're gonna adjust it and pull it and just kind of keep adjusting and pulling till you have it the way that you want it to be. Then I'm gonna take my Suave Smooth 72 Hour Frizz Resistant Luxe Style Infusion Hairspray. Shake it up. So this stuff is gonna keep your hair frizz free and protect it from humidity and keep it in place all day. You just wanna do like a light mist of hairspray to help everything stay in place and help the hair really grab onto itself better, better and stay PC. This completes the look and moving on to makeup because I know a lot of you guys are gonna ask. I start by applying an SPF foundation, a little bit of concealer. I top it with a little bit of powder. Remember this is for a party, not like a swimming beach trip. Add some bronzer into the mix. Then I put a little bit of rosy blush on my cheeks filled in my brows just lightly. I like filled in brows, but I don't think I do them too intense. Add some concealer just to highlight the brows. And then I put a little bit of like a nude champagne shadow with some waterproof liquid liner in a cat eye because we all know that's my favorite look. I love cat eyes. Add some waterproof mascara. Then I put some lip balm on and then a nude matte lip balm. Ooh, outside, going to get some food, going to the beach, you know. Hey, hey, that brings us to the end of this very exciting, life-changing video. Be sure to tweet me a picture if you tried this hairstyle out. I'm excited to see your looks. I will see you all next week with a really exciting video. I love you guys, and yeah, bye.